Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is about how to build a capsule fragrance collection for men. Now whether you're starting off in fragrances or if you have a huge collection and you're looking to downsize, a capsule fragrance collection is one that is versatile, that you'll make the most use out of with a minimal amount of items. So when thinking about this video idea, I've come down to five fragrances that will cover you in all different occasions. I have five designers and five niche fragrances so that there's one for everyone. And by the way, these are the fragrances that I like to smell on a guy. You don't necessarily need to get all of these perfumes. By all means, a capsule collection will reflect your own personal style. So you do you. If you have fragrances that you prefer, go ahead with those. These are just fragrances that I really enjoy smelling on a guy and that I would recommend to you. The first fragrance you'll need is an everyday scent. This is going to be a versatile perfume that you can wear 365 days a year, all four seasons, and one very important gentleman that you can easily transition from day to night. So you can wear it to the office in more casual settings and say you have drinks with friends, family, your girlfriend, whoever it may be, you can also wear the scent. So the one designer that I would recommend that pretty much does it all is La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. You probably already have this fragrance in your collection. It is a staple in my opinion and say if there's only one perfume that you should get, I would recommend La Nuit de l'Homme. This is a fresh, spicy, woody fragrance centered around cardamom and cedarwood. There's also a little bit of almond going on in the background thanks to the tonka bean, but essentially this is a woody, spicy scent. A pretty safe fragrance to get if you're looking for an all-in-one designer fragrance. The only drawback though is the performance. It's not a super long-lasting perfume, so you need to overspray with this fragrance, get yourself a big bottle, and also spray on your clothes so that you can smell it throughout the day and so so that it stays longer. As for the niche version, I would recommend Gentle Fluidity Silver by Maison Francis Curtin. This perfume essentially smells like a luxurious gin and tonic. You're gonna get a big kick of juniper berries, especially in the opening. So juniper is gonna give you a little bit of bitter gin and tonic feeling. You also have some light amber nuances, tiny bit of vanilla, and quite a big dose of ambroxan. So this fragrance is fresh, extremely cooling, and for a freshie, it lasts a very long time. This perfume on my skin lasts over 12 hours and projects really strongly, which is great for a fresher scent. I would say to opt for this perfume if you have fragrances in your collection like Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, Creed Aventus, so those like really likable, freshy perfumes, and you want something a little bit more elevated, then definitely go for this one. Next up, you'll need an evening and date night scent. So one fragrance that you can wear during the nighttime. And I would recommend going for a stronger, bolder fragrance, whatever notes that may be. I personally prefer to smell sweeter, spicier fragrances on a guy. So I would recommend as a designer, Spice Bomb Extreme by Victorine Rolf. This is literally the bomb.com. It is a bomb of cinnamon, pepper. There's a little bit of cumin as well that I can smell in the dry down on my skin doesn't bother me too much though overall this fragrance is so good you have some tobacco there's some vanilla so it's spicy sweet and just really good oh, it smells so amazing I actually like to wear it sometimes it is that good I think this is a really likable fragrance and based on the videos that I've seen on YouTube ladies seem to love this fragrance so it's a win-win for the niche version it is super bold super magnetizing Oud for Greatness by Initio Parfum Privé. This is a spicy oud with nutmeg and also a very big dose of saffron. And it has like a little bit of sweetness that is reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Curgent, but by no means is it the same fragrance. It has like a little bit of nod to that scent with a lot of spices, woods, and to me this is very masculine. This on a guy smells insane. My husband wears it sometimes and it smells so good. 100% date night approved, definitely. And it is another beast mode performer. So this fragrance lasts on the skin easily over 12 hours. Huge projection. The scent trail is so intoxicating and smells really, really good. 
It is expensive, but in my opinion, it is totally worth the splurge. Oud for Greatness by Inicio Parfum Privé. Next up, we have the seasonal fragrances, and let's start with spring and summer. For spring and summer, I'd recommend going for fresher fragrances, either citrusy or fragrances that have aquatic, marine nuances, something that is quite invigorating, especially when it's like super hot and sticky outside. Those are the type of scents that I would recommend to you. And within that profile, I have a really affordable one for the designer side. It is Nautica Voyage by Nautica. This is a really fresh, aquatic like scent with transparent florals don't worry it is totally masculine it's not because there's flowers in here that it's going to be feminine which are complemented by a pop of apple like really crisp apple as well as masculine woods to me this smells like a fresh sea breeze imagine you're sailing on a boat in the summertime and you get this refreshing sea breeze you can hear the waves that is the kind of scent that nautica voyage is it is super easy going and really versatile so it's one that you can pretty much wear all summer round during the day but also in the evenings i think it will do really well on like hot summer evenings it's a casual sporty chic sort of fragrance masculine extremely likable and again i don't think you can really go wrong with this fragrance especially if you like fresher aquatic fragrances. As for the niche option, I went with a citrus. It is Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. And guys, this fragrance is super powerful and long lasting for a citrus scent, which is incredible. This perfume to me smells like you're chilling maybe in Tulum, somewhere in Mexico, living the bohemian life, sipping on a citrus alcoholic cocktail. It is that sort of fragrance, very chilled, laid back, summer holiday vibes. It has notes of Australian finger lime, which basically looks like caviar lime, so not your traditional lime. It's complemented with sandalwood. And to me, this almost gives me like a fizzy, citrus ginger cocktail. I find it to be a little bit spicy, which I think is very nice and quite unusual for a citrus scent as well. So gentlemen, if you're looking for a long lasting citrus that also projects pretty strongly, I highly recommend this fragrance. It is one of my holy grail recommendations for men for the summertime. For the winter time, this is totally dependent on personal taste, but personally, I prefer fragrances that are woodier, spicier, and a little bit sweet for me, but also on my husband. So with that in mind, I would recommend Dior Intense. This is a staple for the winter time. You get that really addictive iris note that you find in the original, but it's not as lipsticky in this perfume. And you also have the addition of ambret seeds that is gonna give you a pear-like note, so like a fruity, playful pop to the scent. You have some woods still with patchouli and a bit of that chocolatey note. Oh, it's delicious. Very masculine, very sexy, lasts all day on the skin. It is great as well for evenings in the colder months. It projects, it's just really, really nice. For the niche version, we're gonna go a little bit more daring with Ensemble Suave by Matière Première. This is an incense dominant fragrance and if you don't like incense like me, don't turn your back on the scent because it smells really good and even though the incense is prominent, it is an exceptional perfume in my opinion. So this fragrance is gonna give you these like church-like incense vibes. So like imagine you're entering a church, you're surrounded by wooden benches and there's incense floating in the air. That is what you're gonna get with the opening of the scent and it's gonna develop a sweetness as it warms to the skin. So it's complemented with notes of benzoyl so that balmy, resinous feeling with vanillic accents. And you also have a note of coffee, which adds a little bit of surprise and intrigue to the perfume. And this is what I like about this perfume. It doesn't smell like anything else. And so if you're looking for a unique autumn winter fragrance, then definitely check out Ensemble Suave. Matière Première also do samples on their website. You can either get the little vials or also minis to try this perfume, which I think is really great and yeah, just thought I'd share that little tip with you in case you didn't want to invest in the full-size bottle. And the last fragrance that you'll need in order to complete your fragrance collection, it is a formal scent. And gentlemen, when it comes to formal perfumes, my tip to you would be, again, have a look at what kind of notes you like in fragrances and go for a note that is familiar to you, that will make you feel confident, but that is a little bit more elevated. So it's similar to your signature scent, but with more of that sophisticated touch. And one of the ingredients 
in all men's fragrances that I find is super chic and elegant is vetiver and I would always recommend a vetiver dominant perfume for you guys for a formal event. So the designer version that I have which I love and I've talked so much about on this channel is Narciso Rodriguez Bleu Noir the Eau de Toilette. This is a modern vetiver fragrance that has cardamom so a little bit of spice some musks as well and this really bright vetiver note. It is a super easy going fragrance and that's kind of what you want I guess from a formal scent. You don't want to go too crazy in terms of choosing a formal perfume. You want a fragrance that is smart, but at the same time, that's not gonna intoxicate a room because you don't necessarily want everyone to notice you through your fragrance. I would opt for a fragrance that is softer and moderately projecting, which is exactly what this perfume is. The projection is moderate and that's, yeah, as I said, that's what you need in a formal setting. As for the niche version, another vetiver dominant fragrance that is fantastic and really unique smelling is Cuir Sacré by Atelier des Ors. This is a leather to vetiver perfume and it will smell quite strong when you first spray it. It's really in your face but it will settle onto the skin and give it a few hours and the projection will be moderate. Now the way that the leather smells in this fragrance isn't too strong. It's more of a suede like leather so quite chic and sophisticated. It's not going to give you leather car seat vibes, not at all. It is very chic and elevated and the vetiver is smoky a little bit earthy and this perfume to me is simply extraordinary and frankly this is my favorite man's fragrance from the Atelier des Ors collection and will definitely bring your entire look together. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what are your five fragrances that you would keep in your collection if you could only have five. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember spread the fragrant love.